Hi, my name is Fran Layton, I'm the GB Women's Water Polo Captain and I play centre forward in the team. I also have another job, I'm a school swim teacher so I work up in Manchester for the council and I teach kids to swim in Moss Side and Miles Platin. Miles Platin is just behind the Man City Etihad Stadium. Tough, fast and physical. Well actually I was a bit rubbish at swimming and I was always the kid who was messing with the goggles saying they were leaking, you know one of them who wouldn't make it. I don't think you can see him in the background but my dad's down there and he actually plays uh, and he played so when I was little I used to mess about behind the goals but if they miss it really hurts and hits you in the face and this was when the men were training and he's like if you join in and do the training the ball won't hit you anymore and at that age I was like all right that seems like a some and obviously he had a master plan which I didn't know about and then I started from that. So get up say about quarter past half past six, um, get to the pool, do an hour, an hour and ten minutes of gym, two hours in the water, then depending what day it is, might go to work say for seven hours, then come back to the pool and do another two hours. If I'm not at work, we'll have like videos or meetings or loads of different stuff like that, where you actually get time to focus on polo and stuff, so it's quite cool. So already I've had like my protein shake and I'm gonna have some bananas and some seeds and yeah I do feel a bit like a bird sometimes eating all that stuff but no it, it's really important because you can do all the work in the pool and then if you go out and eat loads of crap and different things not that you can't have it but it's got to be you know occasion otherwise it just spoils all the hard work you've done we also do a lot of wrestling and boxing and like conditioning and it's like because like I said before polo is quite tough and physical it's good to have those skills which you can transfer then to the water so it does unfortunately it's not just the water it's all around which makes it better in the pool. I think to be honest a load more media stuff we don't normally do anything like this so it's great to see people here today and um, to be honest it's just quite similar for me as a normal competition if I make the team which we find out in June when we get in the pool and play it's just like any other game and you've got to sort of like block out all this like fab stand and everything around us and all these people and it could be a pool anywhere so I think as much as there's a bit more hype and you have to it takes a bit longer to get into a venue um, we've got to imagine it's just another polo competition. I think our aim would be to be about six in it so there's eight um, teams actually in the tournament but when we find out the draw which is going to be made on Saturday I think that'll be quite um, that might decide where we finish as well but I think if we have the best two weeks of our life like all the girls believe we can do well and that win games so we'll just have to see what happens. <laughs> I think the best thing to do is call your local leisure centre or like your swimming baths anything like that ask them if you've got water polo or mini polo if not say why not and then contact us on the British Swimming website and if not then hopefully we can get some water pools set up in your area because one of the things us as a team want for the legacy from us is even if a hundred new people start playing water polo then we've got that ball rolling and so by 2016 and beyond it means that the sport like water polo people won't say to you what is it and do you have a horse and all those jokes will might be banished for life is what we really hope to happen. <laughs> Hi my name's Fran and I'm the GB Women's Water Polo Captain and you're watching Legacy Lions Sport.